crib so big, it's on an island. Money so long, it's hard to pilot. Being too fly, don't need a stylist. Feel like it's taking too long, and I can't wait to get on. I'm having superstar dreams. I'm What's up? I'm Wood, and this is the time where I went to the greatest party ever that lasted only 20 minutes. I don't know if you can hear, but it's uh, this is what I'm saying. Living in Florida, you got to deal with thunder. Like I said last video, I better do this quick or it's going to be over with. This story happened around 2015. It was my sophomore year at Albany State University. Um, so the way it goes is at Albany State. Now I went to a school called Francis Marion my first when I first got out of high school. Then I transferred to Albany State. So could you please, I'm telling a story right now. The way it goes is at HBCUs and at all schools, not just HBCUs, but at HBCUs, there is a week called Homecoming Week. Homecoming Week is the most lit turnt week of the year. There are parties every day, there's events every day throughout the week from 7 a.m. on Sunday until Saturday at 4 o'clock in the morning. It is. We turn, we drinking, we we lit, like don't nothing else matter. Tonight we're getting fucked up. That Sunday. Usually Sunday is you warming up to it. Like the rest of the years I was at Albany State. You warmed up into homecoming on Sunday. Sunday was cool, but it wasn't like the rest of the week. This particular Sunday, there was a party at a lake house in Albany. The year beforehand, the lake house party was really, really turned. I don't know why, because it's literally 35, 40 to 45 minutes away. So literally, you gotta drive all the way out there to party and then people don't realize everybody be so tired to go to a party but you gotta drive that 35 45 minutes back that don't make no sense that's why i was like what where why is this party so much like so talked about but i don't know why everybody and their mom was talking about this party so i'm like okay bet i'm a go but i'm not gonna go by myself everybody has their partner in crime yeah they batman to they robin you know what i'm saying they sidekick they got down best friend anything any party story I tell you, any story I tell you, most of the time when I'm in college, the person who's gonna be right here beside me doing the stupid shit I was doing is Samaj. Okay? So I asked Samaj, Samaj, you trying to go to this party? He was like, hell yeah, I'm trying to go to this party. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, here's the thing I had a car. Luckily, I had a car. And I didn't drink that much my sophomore year. Now, after that, I don't know what happened, but literally, I became an alcoholic. Two shots of vodka. I don't know where I felt like I get a little drink around. Here, do you, bud? We get dressed or whatever, and we head into the party. Here's the thing, though. When I'm heading to the party, I see party buses outside of the freshman dorms, right? I'm like... What is, what type of party are we going to? I had never, ever seen anything like this. I ain't never, ever seen you act like this before. This was a, and it's not like it's a party bus. Usually when you see a party bus, it's like, oh, okay, we're going like 10, 15 minutes down the road. Boom. These are fully loaded party buses going 30 to 45 minutes away. So I'm like, I don't know what we're about to get ourselves into, but fuck it. So me and Samaj, well I drive and we go to the, uh, the damn lake house. The lake house, when I get there, first of all, let me tell you where I parked. So the lake house, it was on this one street, like you made a right onto the street and you go down something that's gonna be on your left hand side. So I turned on the street and literally couldn't turn on the street. I went all the way down and had to come all the way back and park on the main road before you turn on the right. So that was already like a 15, 20 minute walk. When you go into parties, nobody really likes, unless you like on a promo team, 
and you gotta get there by a certain time to get in free or ladies free before 11.15. You know, us niggas, we don't have those type of luxuries in life. That's too damn bad! Here's the thing though about this party. I don't know what it was because the rest of the week nobody did it. The rest of the week you went when you went. Literally everybody was leaving early for this party. Nobody, if the party started at 10, people didn't start pre-gaming until 10. And then now it's like an hour, and then you ain't leave your, your spot or wherever you was to like 11, 11, 15, that's when you showed up to the party. And probably later than that, depends on where you was going. But literally, me and Samaj walked out at like 9.45. The party buses was already, this was the second time the party buses had came, which I learned later, that was the second time the party buses had came. They had already took people there. So we get there, and we gotta fucking walk 15 minutes to even get to the party after parking. And when I tell you, there are so many people walking. It looked like a, a walk. It looked like the, the walk race that they be having in like the Olympics. It looked like it was just so many people walk. It looked like an angry mob walking to a house. So, and then I saw some, and then it wasn't like, it was a whole bunch of like just different cars. It was maybe five, six, seven people getting out of a car. And what we ain't talking about no SUVs, we talking about Corolla. Like this, that is a Ford Focus. How many motherfuckers is in there? Getting out, females everywhere just getting out, going to this party. And I'm, me and Samar just looking like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yo, this is crazy. So we get to the party and being being uh Samaj was very well known and I was well known. We got in the party pretty quickly. Um uh, so we got in there and literally I have never seen nothing like this. I walked in the party and the lake house is like I don't know how to really describe a lake house. It was two stories. It was a main big living room with a bunch of shit in it. And then it was like two and it was upstairs and the stairs had like it was like a square balcony upstairs. Right? So you, if you looked up, you could see people like looking down at the balcony, looking down at the floor while they was on the balcony, looking at the floor, having fun. I walked in there and I swear to God, I can't really describe what it felt like. It felt like, that, that's what it looked like. It felt like waves was just going through and like you could barely even move, like get through there and it was, crazy like that's how packed it was but it was still like usually if a party is that packed it's not really that fun at the same time so we making our way through the party and it's lit like it is going crazy they are up at the top there's like six or seven people hanging over the balcony like sitting on the balcony jumping up and down rapping there's people around them the whole bottom floor is packed where the dj is and everything we're gonna come back to the dj because the dj <laughs> And the people surrounding the DJ, I don't know what was going on there, but we'll come back to that. I'm in there, and literally, we've only been in there for like five minutes. And literally, me and Samaj split up. Now, I'm going to tell you Samaj's side of the story, what he said he saw when he went upstairs. This is just coming from him, okay? So, <laughs> I'm going to tell you him, and then I'm going to tell you what I saw. So, we split up. Don't know how we got split up, but whatever. So... I'm making my way to the party, seeing people I know, whatever, whatever. So, it is literally people everywhere at this party. And it's, it, we left at like 9.45. We got there at like 10.10. 10, um, like 10, 10, 10, 15, 10, 15, And we walked in there. So, it was like 10, 15, 10, 20. That's all it was. And the party is jumping like this. It never goes like that. I don't care what anybody, it never, it doesn't get jumped to like 11.30. Yo, this is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. So, I walk over to the DJ because I knew the DJ. I went over to the DJ, and I kid you not. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this appropriate for YouTube, okay? So, I dab the DJ up, and there's like four, maybe three or four, like, dudes beside him. Like, guys beside him. So, I dab them up too, and they kind of like dab me up, but they kind of like paying attention to something else. And they kind of like moving, and I'm like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> like, and they kind of had their eyes closed. So I'm thinking they just really drunk. I'm like, oh, they are out of there. And one of the dudes was just laughing because he was looking at me. And I was like, what? And he was like, he did this. Like he said, look down. So I looked, looked down. I looked down at myself. I was like, what? He's like, look 
down under the table. So the table had this cloth like little thing on it. So you couldn't really see what was underneath, right? Dead ass, I'm not lying to you. Dead ass, he said, look under the table. So I looked under, I like picked it up a little bit, looked under the table, and all I saw was two, well no, four feet under the table. Four feet under the table, and they was, it was like, <laughs> you could just see the feet. And I kind of looked, and I just knew what they knew what was going on. I, there were two young ladies who was under the table, making sure the two guys up there was having a great time. That's all I'm gonna say. You can put your imagination right now. Let's go to Samaj. This is what Samaj told me when we got back to the dorm. Samaj said he ended up going upstairs because um, he is a noob, he's a noob. So he went upstairs to say what's up to um, some, some more noobs. And when he went upstairs, he went upstairs, he said he walked in a room. <laughs> he said he walked in the room and had to close the door real fast because it was about three couples in there having a nice swinger section. Nice swinger gathering. Okay, so he was like, what is going on? But somebody, they grabbed him, some dudes grabbed him, he didn't say nothing about it, they grabbed him, they started jumping around and everything. Now, I promise you, all this has happened in 10 minutes of the party. It is now like 10.30, that's all it is. It's like 10.30. I'm like, oh, we finna have a great time. So, I'm like, oh, like I'm starting to get lit. So I'm like, okay, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Get lit, and then all you hear is, Literally, how do you even hear it with the party? But it was so loud, you heard it. So, I'm like, what? And I turned around and the police was already there at 10.30. I was like, what? The police came in and we thought we were having a good time. The police, we thought we were gonna have a good time. The police was like, gotcha, bitch. Yeah, no, bro. We're gonna have to shut it down. We're gonna have to, everybody in here gotta get out. The police, they, and after that, parties don't get shut, college parties don't get shut down like that unless they at like a house. Which, you know what, now that I say that, that makes sense. We're at a lake house. Somebody had to own this lake house. I don't know, I don't know what happened, but they came and shut it down, literally 30 minutes. Literally 30 minutes into the party. I'm like, and I only been there for like 20. So, I'm like, what? And literally, they start kicking everybody out. Me and Samaj, I end up finding Samaj, and we walk it outside, and literally even outside is more packed than it was inside. Outside looked like, it looked like Project X. It literally, if that party would have lasted, who knows? would have happened. We, they would have had to call choppers like they did Project X because it was going to get that. I have never, ever seen anything like that. It was ridiculous. Glad I drove, so glad I had a car. Thank you mom and my stepdad, dad and my stepmom for helping me get that car because I, <laughs> I was going to the car so much and the people that rode the party buses, the party buses wasn't supposed to come back no time soon. They had a set time to come back. They had a set time, it was like one o'clock or something. And they wasn't coming back until <laughs> then. So, so many people were sitting there stranded Stuck at that lake house that's 30 to 45 minutes away. And they talking, they trying to get the party buses to come back. It is pandemonium. Like it is crazy. So I'm like, yo, it's only 10:30. Like we lit is homecoming. Like I want to go home. Like so they end up moving the party to like another, trying to move parts like another location really fast. It wasn't as turnt as the lake house was, but literally. Literally everybody that I know still talks about that 20, 30 minute that they was at that party to this day. Because it was literally, it was the making of Project X. It was literally the making of that party. And I had never seen what I saw with my eyes at a party with that many people still going on there. And now 
I think the next year, the person who owns the lake house said no more parties, can't do no more parties, so we can never experience that again. So, literally, the best party I ever went to didn't last a, an hour. It only lasted half an hour. So, more of the story. Hey, it's not that, it's not, you know, it's not that bad to get to a party on time every once in a while. You never know. Thank you for watching this week's episode. Do please subscribe, like, and share the video. Video? What in the world is that? <laughs> please subscribe, like, and share the video. Um, let's get this out to more people. Please do share it. Um, I have new videos every Friday. I have new videos every Friday. So do subscribe, like, and share. Emphasis on share the video. If you watch it, post it on all your social media so somebody else can watch it. Especially if you went to Albany State and you watch this, share it to everybody so they can remember that time if they was there at the school. But until next time, you can talk to me nice next video. So big, it's on an island. Money so long, it's hard to pilot.